Well, welcome to another adventure. Here we are in our spring trip. Woohoo! Woo -hoo! And the bugs aren't bad at all. <laughs> so the first thing we do is Mike finds a fishing rod and reel down below the surface and we stop to retrieve it. This is an adventure as we have on our spring fishing trip. Where was it? I thought you saw well, I did, but we've already passed it now. <laughs> what? I thought I've you got, said you knew where it was. Grappling hook on. I got the first one. <laughs> what's, what's my prize? That's going to be the only thing you caught the entire trip. <laughs> nice. Look at that! Wow. That's, a, that's better than... That's better than mine. And it's going to eat you me at the end. Is it? Yeah. So uh, we're going into North Tee from Round Lake, past this point. Kumag has this, I call it Round Lake. Come on, dog. And, uh, and then places beyond. She got the first fish. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a big lake trout. Oh my god, you better get the net. Yeah, I got the net. Hold on. Well, don't don't force them. Nope. That's a nice lake trout. Whoa, Ash, don't rush them. No, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to get him to slow. Oh, oh, he's, oh he's rolling it. He's rolling the line. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I gotta stop filming and land this fish. There he is, there he is. He spit the hook out as soon as he got in the net. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. That's the net I got you for Christmas. I know. <laughs> what do you think, Tim? Are we home? We are home. This breeze up high. Yeah. Don't have to worry about bugs. Well, while well, the breeze is on. <laughs> awesome. Are you okay? Look at them sunglasses, holy <laughs> smokes. Yeah, Look special. at you. Yes, we're made it, woo. Beautiful sight. You caught oh. us lunch? Oh, I forgot about that, yeah, I did. What was that, Ash? I said, can you get the whole fish in there? <laughs> that's a good lake trout. It is a good lake yeah. trout. Be Probably good. the biggest I've ever got. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, excuse you, Tim. <laughs> nice. So? But it was a team effort. Yes, I netted it. And on the trolling rod again. Yeah, well, my dad's trolling rod. But my brand new e secret lure. <laughs> yeah? That's good size. Way to go. Oh, that smells good. Look at the view. That's a million dollar view. It is. Them glasses. Oh what? my what? God. I got them for Christmas. Yeah. Ooh. Lake trout. Just caught. I got out of bed and I didn't brush my hair this morning. That's true camping. What can though, I tell you? Yeah, it is. That, that, is, that yeah. is true camping wow. hair. I look like the wild man of Borneo. But anyway. You look like something. Yeah, I do. That's true. Did you show them how you lactate? <laughs> yeah, that's bug spray. It's lactation. It's bug spray on my third nipple. All right, just leave it alone. Yeah. Okay, what's the issue? There's an issue. What's going on? Well, just how much pasta to use, that's all. So you got those massive steaks. Yeah. 
You got the pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. You got noodles and you got garlic bread too. Yeah. Feast, the veritable feast. And we just consumed a lake trout. Yeah. That, that was hours ago. Oh, that was ago. That's done. I just kind of chewed up. You know what it needs? It needs like filing this way and then reprofiling on the, on the bevel. That, that's okay. It's got a decent edge for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, well, gotta eat a bit of dirt before you die. Oh, you're putting the meat in the sauce. Well, that's what I said. Have yeah. you not been following this recipe the whole time? No, not really. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've been too busy yapping. <laughs> Talk a glass I just leave for Christ's sake. So whose idea was this dinner? My wife. Yeah? I I was back and forth, I was gonna do spag ball. And then I thought, nah, you know what? Spag what? Spag ball. Spaghetti ball it means. You could get some water in that. Yeah, okay. Make yourself useful. Actually has become like the sergeant major tonight. No. What are you doing now, Ash? Garlic bread. Ooh, nice. Do you enjoy cooking? Do I? Yeah. Uh, I'm usually a pot washer. Steph's a cooker. Yeah? She says I'm a good sushi. Well, if you were going to cook at home, what would be the meal you would cook? If I was to cook something at home? Yeah. It's on top. Hopefully you can cut these. Should I have sliced them up? No. What was this sauce, Tim, again? I should. Cuscanetta, yes. I'm impressed you remember that. God, I hope none of these fall off. No! <laughs> Do you need Parmesan for anything tomorrow, Tim? Or? Lots here. Is it good, Tim? I couldn't screw that up, but I could. All good. Hats off, Ash. Well done. Mm. Mm. You're not stealing it, okay? Oh, I will. I'll roll you off. No, 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 no. You won't have a clue. No, no. He's just jealous of my my air mat. Yeah, I have my winter, was it Nemo one the, with the down in it? <laughs> and actually a, a really good fall down sling bag because it's getting cold now. It was really hot today, really sunny, really buggy. No, oh, you're getting old. That's what the thing I am is. getting old. I, I had a hard time kneeling down to fill it a fish today. That that's <laughs> It just shows you how old I'm getting. And then, yeah, but you know what? Uh, we're not getting old in our mindset because we're still playing practical jokes on each other. That's true. Thanks. Ash for putting the condom in my sleeping bag. Okay, well, Appreciate it. Safety first, Kevin. Right. God help us all. What might happen in the night? That's what we needed. Oh, oh man, thanks, that's Mike. what we needed. Whoa. Oh. You all right? That's good. Everybody sleep well? Yep. Yeah. Looking out as you wouldn't think it, but yeah, we did. We slept pretty good. Oh. That's my bacon from Bridge North Deli. The packet special for me. Very nice. Water in that pan, do you think, for the second group? Put some more in it. What now? I did bring four bits. 
five bits. What? That's so much meat. I thought I took some out for day one for tomorrow. Yeah. So what is that? Blood pudding. Blood pudding. Oh, black pudding. Whatever you want. I always again. call it black pudding. You brought it again. Mike does not like it. No, well, there's bacon and um, square sausage and potato cakes and eggs. So if that don't make me poo, I don't know what will. <laughs> uh? He hasn't pooed yet. No. He's having issues. I never do. Stay tuned. Good luck to us all. Come on, chef, where's them eggs? We're ready to go. <laughs> Come on. All right. Save that cute little one for you. Oh, thanks, there Ash. You go. Oh, Perfectly. picture perfect. Uh, I'm not playing favorites. <laughs> nice. It's a tie. It's a tie. Yeah. I think the black boys are biting now. Oh, oh they have been. They have been. Yeah, yeah, they have been. Awesome. <laughs> Lots of nice scenery along here. A few, a few brookies. <laughs> we let them all go. It's a heat of the day, so we're not going to eat them. Well, maybe we should have. <laughs> have dried meat and cheese instead. Yeah, it, even if we didn't catch any brook trout here, the, just the scenery is just awesome. Beautiful weather. Good to be out. So I got a different canoe. My blue canoe's getting slight repairs done but no craft and linen. Look at this. You can see this, watch it. So this is uh, Noah Craft's new look. It's not new material. This is actually the tough stuff. It's just doesn't uh, have the paint on it. It has a see-through look to it. So yeah, this is a, not a new material for Noah Craft, this is a, a new look to it. And uh, this is their tough stuff. The heavier one than the one I have at home. But it's good for any uh, slight rapids to come up. Whew. Anyway, that's what I got. Looks nice. I see you uh, made yourself once again a paddle. I did. I it got, looked like pretty easy to make. I got bored over the winter, so <laughs> I started gluing pieces together. So. All right, so there's more to it than that. <laughs> How many pieces? 71 pieces. Oh my lord. Because the grip is the same way. So. Oh, you did the grip too. Yeah. Here, let me zoom in on the grip. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh. All right. And obviously this is not your first powder you've made. It's not the first one like this, yes. Yeah, but you made paddles for a long time. I've made paddles since, yeah, 2003. Yeah. yeah, you even have a name for it. Wilderness something. Wilderness Paddle Works, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're a great spokesman for I your know. company. I know, it's great. And that, that's what I have the Globe and Mail for. I don't have to do it. There you go. No, I know. You're in the Globe and Mail. This is the special. Last week you were in the Globe and Mail about making paddles. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then, so looking at this, Explain what this is, because I, I, it's laminate? This is, yeah, a whole bunch of pieces glued together. So there's cherry, ash, walnut. These ones are a bird's eye maple. So. That must have took hours. Yes, I wouldn't do another one. No. What if someone asked you? Well, <laughs> depends on the price, I guess. <laughs> 
I wouldn't hmm. want to make another one, so. You do sell your pedals though, right? Yep, at, and, a, at a really nice store. Oh, that's right, you do sell your pedals at Tim's yeah, store. At Tim's store, yeah. That's Canadian Outdoor Equipment. He's the worst salesperson in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, just, it's the camera in my face is what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the Globe and Mail, this is nothing compared to the Globe and Mail. Yeah, it was. It was easy, that was just photos. Yeah? So, well, conversation I'm, on the phone. and so. That's cool, that is really nice though. Well, wow, beautiful. Tim, what do you seem to be doing there? I was pumping water for everybody. Except for Mike. Oh, Mike doesn't have his bottle up, but these are, uh, here's yours. Oh, well, your thank, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a thirsty day. Ash is in, yeah, hot. Yeah. The beautiful weather, I mean, we could not have done. Yeah. Not so great for fishing this weather, I don't think. Well, no, I don't think, no, I think it's too late. It's uh, the last week in May. It's hot, sunny for two days. Yeah, I I think we'll catch lake trout with a trolling rod, but maybe. Well, we caught speckles in the streams, but not in the lakes. It's a Merlin. Yeah. After the crow? Yeah, I think the crow's trying to get his eggs. Tell it's a merlin the way it flies. It, it's the only bird of prey that flies left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, really? Instead of like both at the same time. I'm to be tired, he paddled Mike around all morning. Yeah, he Surprised you're not in there with him. Seems you paddled me around all morning. I did, actually. Yeah. For nothing. You caught nothing. <laughs> I didn't catch a thing. But I still have the biggest fish. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Tim's now awake. He is awake. Yeah, and he's serving. He's serving? So what's going on? What is that? That's me well, dried out. We're trying. We need someone to taste it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Mmm. See? Oh, hey, try that. Is that the dried apple? No, but it's what he put in it prior to. Well, well no. <laughs> no, it's nothing no, no. bad. Seriously, no, try no. it. I don't taste urine. Go. No. <laughs> just get it down and just try it. Oh, holy gee, that's got a kick. That's pretty good, isn't Whoa, it? Oh, what is that? That's got a kick. So I made a mistake. Yeah, you put maple I put in maple it first. maple syrup in there, it was the wrong container. That's, <laughs> that's not what you did. But with the lime and the whiskey. We made a drink. Stumbled on something new. Mm. Maple syrup, apple, dried apple, and, and whiskey. Lime. <laughs> and lime. And lime. did put it on it, so. That's pretty good. Well, when are you uh, doing your own cookbook? No, it's not happening. Only, even your own staff sent me notes saying you should do a good mm. book. Yeah, that, that they did last, not. They did. That they did not. Was good last year. Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you boys enjoyed it. Yeah, you. you I encourage it. everybody, including your viewers and your followers and your subscribers and your. Does he have any? <laughs> a few. Stop it. Stop it. Hang on, they're all here. Stop it. <laughs> they're all here. I think it's mom, maybe. Okay. Oh, my mom, yeah, my mom. Okay. Yeah. That's your yeah. biggest fan. Yeah. No, but it would avail all viewers to, uh, um, when you're out, it's 
the food you make can be some of the best meals you'll ever have, actually. Yeah. And by accident, maple syrup drink. They just yeah, it doesn't have to be. It's not about fancy or anything like that. I no. think it's about it's the mix of being outside a lot, fresh air. You're yeah. you know paddling, doing stuff. You kind of earn your meals. So by the time it's time to eat, you're hungry. Um, yeah, you can. Add but that. sometimes it's tough to think of meals, though, right? Like, you don't just want to keep bringing the same thing. I know we talk about this, but breakfast, you sometimes do. It's the same thing. It's true, because there's like a few things in the repertoire that work. You tend to rely on those. Yeah, right? yeah, but meals, meals is something different, right? It's just trying to bring something that you wouldn't normally think of bringing that, that's going to last, right? <laughs> Smoked duck today? Yeah, man, with the pasta, with mushrooms. Really? And sun dried tomatoes. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. That's what it's all about. Wow. Smoked duck? Holy. I mean, I thought I'd up my game a little, but geez, then he goes and. Like, the, you can't keep up with him. No, you can't. It's just impossible, right? You never know what he's going to come up with. Who's the shout out? What's going on? Uh, shout out to uh, Diane, my girlfriend, who gave me the idea for the smoked duck. Excellent culinary idea. She's a culinary whiz. So it's not my, I can't lay claim to that idea, nor do I, uh, nor do I state that I am trying to lay claim to that idea. But it's an excellent ingredient, as I hope to regale you fellows with this evening. Thanks, Diane. Actually, question, question. Yes. Um, so this is Tim's. Parmesan. Yeah, I know. That's a real story. What did we have last night with your dinner? Um, Pre-grated. Yeah? From Costco. Oh, okay. Which is nowhere near as good as that stuff. Okay, what, what's going on? You got a new gadget. It's called a sock. <laughs> yep. a sock. What's in the sock? Two socks! This is for socks. thermal, uh, oh thermal protection. What's coming out the sock? Oh, that's the wrong ingredient. Oh. What? Oh, no. Oh. Wrong one. Who puts ingredients in their socks? <laughs> What have you got in your knickers? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Look at this, this has to be kept cold. It's cool, it's a sound thermal idea. Oh, look at that, two socks. Wow. Yeah, a couple of pairs, I sacrificed all my winter socks for this. Ooh. Look, it's still cool, look. Is it cool to the touch? Yeah, yes. yeah, it is, yeah. All right, so the duck, like, how do you make, cook that? Uh, I'm gonna fry up the skin, crisp up the skin a bit on the skin side. I'm gonna pre-assemble the pasta and then slice. So you have nice slices on top of your pasta dish. Wow, okay. Bon appetit! Tim, what was that statement you made that I just said it's a good thing I brought some duck because there's been little fish on this trip, which is supposed to be the purpose of this trip, but somehow I had a feeling, I think. Better cover for those guys. While on YouTube they present themselves these master anglers who can catch themselves a fish in any situation and get themselves out of any sort of situation by catching a trusty fish with their trusty rods. But alas, 2023 has been proven the year when bring those skills into doubt 
It's hurtful. <laughs> You're evil. <laughs> uh, Mike, it's getting a little dark out. Can you shine some light on sure. the issue? Yeah, I got this new headlight. Whoa. Oh, wow, man. Look at Cyborg that. Cyborg 2000. Yeah, really. What is that? It's like... I don't know. LEDs. It's all rechargeable. It's a strap on your head. Jump. There's a strobe oh. too? Oh yeah, a little strobe too. Dance party. Yeah, disco. All right. Well, Mike's on breakfast patrol. Making this lovely bacon egg McMuffins. Just had mine. Yeah. I had two. Yeah, well, you only had one. I know, you're, you're a growing boy. You eat like church mouse. We're having second coffees. Oh, awesome coffee. Yeah. We're going exploring again today. That's right. Yeah. Hopefully we can catch more fish than we did yesterday. You just have to let it go. Just okay, let I it know. go. But I don't want to let Tim down. That's true. He's excited for a shore lunch and I hope we can deliver. Right. Hopefully, pardon me, hopefully. He's got a nice boom, hasn't he? <laughs> huh? Well, <clears throat> our plan is, this is this is thing called the North Sea and Beyond trip. So we're base camping in North Tea and doing something every day. Um, there's so many lakes to go to. There's uh, Lost Dog, there's Lorne, um, there's Bigger, uh, uh, there's Manitou. And um, if the wind is calm today, I think we'll go to Manitou because it's a beautiful lake. Yeah, yeah, so, so many things to do and so many things to say. Lots of things to say. North Tea and beyond. Da -da -da -da! <laughs> Well, here we are in Manitou, and we're going to uh, fish Manitou for a while. Hopefully, have a shore lunch, enjoy the sunshine, and get away from the bugs from the portage. There's two portages going into this lake. One's around the falls; it's 100 meters longer than the other one, but I don't think it's as hilly as this one. <laughs> this one says 410, but I'm pretty sure it's longer than 410. Beautiful portage, though. Nice wood sorrow at the end. Uh, yeah, I know you're not supposed to pick wild edibles in a, in, a, in a park, but we did savor a few. Just a few. It was tasty. Because it's hot out. Anyway. Alright. You ready? Ready. Actually, it's all ready to go. Ready to Angel's go. ready for a nap. Yep. Right. Shouldn't have turned my camera on. No, as soon as I let, let slack go. Uh. So just to tell you, there's a thing um, in the, in these lakes on Chaos Manitou and North Tea. There's water flea. It's an invasive species. So uh, the the park has basically said, you know, to go from one of these lakes to another lake, you should wash your boat down, wash your lines down. So yeah, that's a good thing to do. So if you're, you're on Manitou or North Tea or Chaos and you're going into another lake, you really actually shouldn't fish on the way there because um, the fleas might get on your line. But yeah, if you're going to another one, just wash your boat down. So I think what you should do, to be quite honest, well, we're base camping in, in North Tea, pull the boats up for the night, wash them down with, with a rag, let them dry, wash the lines down with alcohol wipes actually. And um, yeah, because we don't want to ruin the fisheries of these lakes. We're we having a shore lunch, Tim. We are. Success. Happy day. Right. What sticks over is that? Push box. Oh. XL. Oh, yeah. It's hot. This one you always bring. You like that one, eh? Yeah, I do like that one.
Lovely. Yes. Manitou Lake Trout. Mm-hmm. All right, I think we're ready to roll here. Well, mm. we'll give this piece another minute. You want the lemon on it now? Just before I serve. Okay. Thanks, though. So, fun fact about trout in Algonquin. Uh, this lake trout was caught on Manitou Lake and it had white meat and cisco in its belly or minnows. More fatty. The one we caught in North T was skinnier, pink meat, and full of invertebrates, insects, before they hatch into the air. So, yeah, uh, and not fat at all. It was really, really skinny, even though it was bigger. Fun fact in Algonquin Park. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Is it really hot? Oh! Sounds like it. I don't think we have, like, I don't, I oh. forgot to bring, like, spoons and shit. Good job! I didn't think of it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll go. Yep. Right. Mm. That's good, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right out of the pan. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air he would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool <laughs> But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh. And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful Call you my sweetheart I Promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you, I wanted you to know You looked at her and then you smiled Picked up a pen and paper and Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Something cliche like, Ooh, Ooh, Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet Sweetheart, and how nobody can steal me away. Yeah, I am your horse. Cause I want you, and I wanted you to know. As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm, and took his hand. He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. Song, and they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know That's called B-roll Hey Kevin, thanks for lending me your towel Yeah, that's your towel now Well, I have a new tent for the season I have uh, Mountain Hardware, a uh, new company to me. I uh, heard lots of good things about, about them, lots of good things about their tents. This is their new one. Ash, what is it called? The Meridian 3. Meridian 3, all right. Him and I have been sleeping at it for the last three, no, two nights. Yeah. We've got one more night. Um, and I'll do and a the full- the dog, don't forget the dog. Oh, the dog, yeah. Angel shared it with us. 
sorry we're like exhausted it's a heat wave right now mm -hmm. um and um so i'm not going to do a full review on it right now because we i've only slept in it for two nights and it was beautiful weather a little chilly no frost though no downpour so i can't really do a review on it uh but it's roomy very roomy yep yeah, thank you goodness. Don't, you don't cramp the space or anything. Yeah, and especially when you have the toots. That's true. Yeah. Yep. And um, we could always throw buckets of water over it. We could. When you're laying in there. We could. We could. And, and that also, be a true test. But I also know you're doing the, the true test of drying your pants and underwear. That's true. On top of my tent. Yep, it does. Yeah, thank, good. thanks, Ash. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. A uh, couple of things I have noted that I like. Uh, I like the color. I know that's silly, but I really like the color. And I like the spaciousness in there. And I do know it needs more pegs. Um, I gotta add more pegs. Yeah. And it's, it has two guy ropes it comes with, but I think I need more than just two. But I gotta look into it because there's probably a reason why there's two. Um, zipper's really good. I like the zipper. Yeah. It's easy. Zip, zip when you have to, like we're old, we have to go and pee a lot. So. That's true. Yeah. Yep, zip, zip, zip. Nice little vestibules either side. Yep, you... yep. Mike did say he, he found that uh, he has one. Um, he said that actually the new one seems to have smaller vestibules. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Again, two nights. I'm not do, doing a review on the tent for two nights. It's got to be no. a downpour rain, hurricane winds, hail, yeah. more of your tooting before I do a full That's review. True. Yeah. The dog was always comfy in there. It was. We she were... slept really well. Yeah. We both slept really well. We did, actually. Yeah. Especially the second night. Like, the first night, you're always like, oh, uh, something's going to kill me. Yeah, well. And then the second night, you don't care less if something killed you. No. Yeah. You're just exhausted from reeling fishing all day. He's all upset. <laughs> like, we're not as catching as many fish as we usually do. But look, buddy. Like, it is it, what it is. We can't, we can't predict how many fish. I can predict. I know why we're not catching fish. It's later in the May. It's hot. It's a heat wave. Yeah. It's almost June. The fish are going down deep. We don't know where they are, and if you you know didn't go out gallivanting uh, uh, in the beginning of of of, uh, of May, uh, the Mother's Day weekend, we always what what for thirty years we've gone oh easily thirty years we've yeah. gone on Mother's Day week, yeah. but you decide to go gallivanting with your wife and have a lovely time, yeah. lovely time, um, and then you know we sit at home you know looking at other people's fish they yep. were catching and hearing all these fish reports. Of, yep. Oh, the fish are yep. biting like crazy. Yep, and then. Yep, so now we're... But saying that, last year when we went, it was a heat wave. Yeah, that was Mother's Day Tim too. Tim and I swam last year, and we it was Tim and I that went for a swim. You did today. swim again today. Well, cool. yeah. I kind of went into me That's waist. Cool. You didn't but go for... Tim Dovin. No, I just went in into me It's too hmm. cold. I'm not saying anything. I didn't go swimming. I just no, you didn't. sit there and watch. Well, you generally break your foot every time you... Can. I broke my foot once and it was no, legit. That was... No. But it was cold. Tim's very brave. He's my hero. <laughs> but now look at him. He's huddled up in his hammock. He's sleeping in his hammock again. Yep. All right, anyway, about the tent. Right. Uh, name of it again? Meridian 3. Okay, by Mountain Hardware. Yeah. Love the color want to re use it more before I review it and like it so far right yep right that's good 10 yeah can you get your underwear and your pants off it please sure I think they're dry now anyway I've got my underwear on look I got my knickers on. no your speedo you got your speedo oh, no, on top my of my tent hanging up there oh maybe I thought maybe of leaving it there and then when people come to the site they all know speedo man was here then they'll keep howling yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The one who uh, decontaminate the site. You see that. All right. Now, would you have to treat that in any way over time? That's a good question. I just got it, so I didn't. I didn't do the seams. I generally, if it's a really good quality tent, which that would be, it, I don't think you have to seam seal it. Maybe you should, but I don't think you have to. But don't quote me on that. All right. So yeah. we'd ask Tim, but he's asleep. Yeah, we would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mike, you're up. Last night, you're on dinner. I am. Well, it wasn't supposed to be last night, but I am now. Yeah. What's going on? What's happening? Up. Oh, we're just cutting some onions up. Yeah. Have a bit of a stir fry. So. Instead of Jamie's crying, Mike's crying. Mike's crying. He's cutting. 
Onions. Mike's crying. My onions are always good, so. Never yeah, got enough onions. So, okay, you got a couple things going on today. There's a heat wave. So are you gonna do this by stove or by fire? I think by stove. Yeah. Because I don't want to stand beside a fire. <laughs> so. And so you're doing peppers and and onions. So what what, what else is going on? Onions, well, we got uh, some mushrooms in here. Okay. And some broccoli and some peas. So, oh yeah, you you told us already. You're doing a stir fry. Something like that. Yeah. Are you excited about this? No, I hate cooking. <laughs> but Tim said I had to, or no, I said I had to step it up a notch. Yeah. So we're uh, trying my best. Well, I'm excited for you. All right. Yeah. That's all you got. That's all I got, yeah, I'm not a big talker, you know that. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with dinner. All right, thank you. See you in a little while. Mike, I got a question. Yeah, I'm pulling all the broccoli now. Okay, is that a special broccoli bag? No, it's not a broccoli bag, but it's the only paper bag I could find. Yeah. We happen to have a few of them around my house. Do you know uh, next week you won't be able to get a bag at LSPO? You have to bring your own. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh. Well, so I better save this one then. Here you go. I didn't know that, so. They gave it to me the other day, so. So yeah, no, oh, broccoli's good. That lasted? Well, I know, it was supposed to be yesterday. But it still looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You think it's good? I think it's it pretty good. It looks good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Special broccoli bag. By Mike Kip. Yeah, it's a collector's item now, I guess. Yes, owner of Wilderness Paddle Works. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now he's gonna shut down again. Yeah, I'll shut down. Yeah, yeah. I don't talk about my stuff. <laughs> but your broccoli is amazing. Looks good, eh? Yep. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Nice. Dalton, we're missing you. You're not here on this trip. Your dad is like up the scale. And good luck with everything. And it's probably a good thing you're not here because Ashley is just going down. Like I'm missing him. We all miss him, but like you, you messed that kid up for years on yeah. trips, yeah. So yeah. Oh, he'll get old. Yeah. Dalton's I mic's up. Well, for good reason. Yeah. Dalton um, is uh, Mike's son. He went on a lot of trips with us. And now he's got a career in, on, actually, in Terra Parks. And uh, that's fantastic. And um, yeah, I think he did that just to get away from us. Oh, this is good, guys. Nice. nice. Yep. Oh, Mike is upping the nutritional, yes, he is. The nutritional he's, game here. He's looking after us. Yeah. Good stuff, eh? Yeah. Ooh, snap peas as well. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. Worked. <laughs> yep. And what's so special about these much? Well, they're waterproof container. Ooh. Yeah. You got cotton ball there to keep them dry. Okay. There's a striker on the side there for them. Oh, yeah. And hurry up because the bugs are getting bad and we need the fire going. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look at the size of the head from them. Yeah. Huge. And they'll strike first time? I don't know. Will they only strike on that striker? Well, there's one on the side and one on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that look at that. that. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, look at that. Mm. That's like uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah. The, 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 where it's burning down. And who's the company? SOL, Survive Outdoors Longer. I like their stuff. Mm. Mm, cool. Nice, good waterproof case. Yeah.
Yeah. And nice two striking points, right? Yeah. Would they strike on stone if you didn't? Give it a try. Let's see. Okay. Or your zipper. Try your zipper. Ooh. Ready? No. Is it plastic zipper? Yeah, it well, won't. That's Got a metal zipper. <sighs> Lost the head of that one. Hey, hey, slow down the matches. They're expensive. Oh, no, they're actually not. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. look at that. I got that one better that time. Okay, okay. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be quick. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, try my zipper. On your zipper? Yeah, here. Right. Can you film it? No? No. Okay, thank you. Very good. Hot stuff! Yeah, I'm all done. Oh, the bugs are bad. Okay, let's get by the fire. Mike's, how, how's your zipper? Plastic. Yeah, so you, you sure? my zipper alone. Yeah. How about yours? Yeah, I know, no, no. I, I, no. I can't participate. You sure? I'm totally sure. What about your armpit? <laughs> Try your armpit. No, no thanks. Those, those are made to work on their strikers only. Yeah. Yeah. Those not, canvas pants have to have it's a It's not a strike anywhere. They, no, those <laughs> pants look like they have a metal zipper. Well, what about like they used to do? <laughs> Yeah, do it off your bum. Off your ass. Yeah, no Come thanks. on. No, no thanks. It only works on its striker. Might not. No, trust me. It's, it needs the striker. They, they burn down pretty quick though. You gotta yeah, get yeah. them in there. Okay, we're all gonna be quiet and listen to the mosquitoes outside the bug shelter. We're going to die. There's a lot of frogs and toads, though. You think they can hear the mosquitoes? The frogs hope, and toads are louder. I hope the frogs and toads are eating the mosquitoes. Me too. I can hear them right here. Can you hear that? What, the frogs and toads? No, the mosquitoes. Yeah. I can hear them right there. Right by my ear. I'm not going out there. Well, we're heading out, last day, be a half a day paddle out, and uh, it's not even eight o'clock yet, and it's a heat wave. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I hope this doesn't continue through June. I got another couple of trips right after this. Oh boy, the bugs were bad this morning. We were blessed um, the, the three days with the breeze, really blessed, because when the breeze stopped, then you realize how bad the bugs were. Black flies are dying off because of the heat, um, but we got uh, the mosquito thing happening. So, Well, while we're waiting for the other boat to load up, just going to tell you about uh, something going on here. I've got myself a happy camper paddle made by Badger and uh, good friends of mine, Badger Paddles. And uh, a few years back, Mike, uh, he uh, thought it would be great to actually make a happy camper paddle. And I went, well, I'm not into like the, you know, the t-shirts and hats and stuff like that. You're okay. It's okay if you are, but I'm not. I go, but let's do something solid. Yeah, do a paddle, but then we'll put some money towards charity. And my charity of choice is always uh, some um, group that actually take youth out, especially youth that actually don't have the ability to get out. So I did the happy camper pack with uh, Recreational Barrel Works. Money went to Camp Outlook. So yeah, so then I did this, the happy camper. Paddle with Badger and money goes to Project Canoe, which is a Toronto based group that actually takes youth out. Youth probably would never get out in the woods for various reasons. Yeah, so I'm doing that. The paddle is called the Tripper. It's got. All right, see that. You later, Mike. <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh, Tim, Tim just left Mike on the shore. So we chose the Tripper blade, uh, Tripper paddle. I like the Tripper. It's actually a beaver tail or maybe an extended beaver tail to be quite honest and it's got what i call the voyager grip voyager grip is so you can actually put your palm like that to push maybe i'll show you that one when we're filming uh, on the way out but anyway yeah you go like this with it as opposed to grab the grip all the time it just gives you uh less stress on your wrist over a long period of time of paddling 
And yeah, you can get walnut or you can get cherry. Supposedly walnut's the big seller right now, but I think I would prefer cherry. Walnut looks nice though. Yeah, so that's uh, what's going on. They're numbered. I got number one. And there's going to be 50 made at first. And let's see what happens. And uh, I think I wasn't supposed to use this paddle. I think they, they mail it to me just to get pictures of. But I've taken on this trip and I've bashed the... <laughs> yeah, I bashed it uh, a lot. And I used it. I even uh, filled a trout on it. So yeah, it's christened. Anyway, talk about it later. Top of the morning to you. Yeah. Here they are. In the mosquito escort. Yeah, really, eh? <laughs> Heading across <laughs> North Sea Lake, and we got the wind tour back. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's what you get for waking up early. Ha! Angel, are you excited? Oh, I'm very excited, Kevin. Come on, we're, get out of the bugs. Get out of the bugs. Yeah. Get, some, get out of here. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> what an awesome trip. <laughs> so good to get out. I love my sunglasses, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I actually, um, yeah, the whole idea of wearing sunglasses while um, filming yourself doesn't make any sense because everybody sees the camera. But, you know, I have a camera, so. And I need sunglasses on a day like this. All right, I'll stop talking. You ready to paddle? Here we go, across North Tea Lake, Algonquin Park. Mm -hmm.